Hi hey YouTube, it's your beekeeper here. Today we're going to be working on this 2005 Dodge Ram Cummins powered pickup truck. So I'm driving it back from El Rancho last weekend and the blower motor for the heater started making noise. It was winter weather conditions. It was snow and driving rain pretty hard. This is early March. We get some really good snowstorms in March. February, March is kind of when we really get our winter. Um, and this thing started growling after being on for a couple hours. Traffic was slow, two, three hours into it. And then once it cooled down, let's see. Let's see if I can show you what the sound is. I mean, you pretty much, okay, that's enough. Thank you. Of course, now that everything's cooled down, it's not going to make any noise. Yeah, of course, it, it doesn't make the noise. But what I also did too when I got home was I dropped this motor out, and I'll show you how simple it is. It really is a simple, simple replacement. I think anybody at just about any skill level can do and save yourself quite a bit of money from taking it in. Um, all three speeds of the motor work. And by three speeds, I, I mean four. And so the, res the little, like the blower resistor pack works fine. But the motor was growling. When I got home, because I still wanted to be able to drive the truck, and it was pretty noisy, I dropped the motor out of this thing. I sprayed graphite into the armature front and back bearings uh, on the both both the bearings. They're sealed bearings. Quiet it down quite a bit. But I don't want to rely on that because... If this thing dumps out, of course it's going to dump out in the middle of a snowstorm. And that was my concern because it was snowing and then it's, as I dropped elevation after about two hours out of the mountains, it uh, on the third hour there when it was really making noise, it was raining pretty hard. So we were trying to keep, uh, trying to keep the windshield defrosted. So what do you do to fix this? You go on the internet, spend 30 bucks. Uh, I got this through eBay. You get yourself a replacement motor. Three bolts. They're 5 16ths or 8 millimeter, whatever you have. They work. Both of them, 8 mil, 5 16 And then there's the uh, harness. Phew, simple harness that comes out. So let's drop this thing out and let's see what it looks like. Once we get it out, it just drops the plug out of the way one two tension okay made in China I'm assuming this has been been replaced before it has no runoff even after I did the uh, the graphite so that goes in the trash and then we gently place this guy back up in here like this make sure your holes line up and go this way I'm gonna put the easy screw in first Plastic going into plastic, so don't over tighten. Ask me how I know. So if this were an around town rig, I probably would have been okay with shooting that graphite in there and running this other motor. Who knows how long it'll last. It might last quite a bit longer. Um, but it was it was making noises that did not make me feel comfortable. This is my long haul driver. And uh, I need it to be reliable. So $30. It's cheap insurance. Well, I look at it. What do I know? 
and this is going to take I'm letting this run for the whole thing it's not very interesting but I'm just going to show you that it's about a I don't know it's probably going to be a 12 to 12 minute repair I think this actually would have been better with a 5 16 nut driver because then the ratchet wouldn't be in the way but you know use what you got on your handy Plug it in. Hear a ding. Wait for the ding to stop. Oh yeah, that's way quieter. Hopefully you can hear that. Oh no, this video's only been going for four minutes and fifty-five seconds. One, three. Speed two, speed one. It's just that simple. And this gets recycled. Alright, thanks for watching. Gotta go, gotta run. See ya!